So I'm going to show you how to properly wire a switch for a motor that you would see in a kid's ride-on car, like a Power Wheels or something like that. So normally they come with the little shifter controls and it usually comes with this little X pattern you'll see in the back where they've used a DPDT switch and just simply done an X where it goes up from one terminal to the bot to the crossing over to the top. You'll see it here too. These switches all got burned out. And the reason is because these switches can only handle like 15 to 20 amps. And when you heavily modify one of these cars and it's doing a lot of forces involved, you can pull way more than that. Uh, right now I have 32 volt LiPos in my kids right on car. So I'm guessing it hits maybe 30 or 40 amps. <clears throat> So there's got to be a better way, and there is. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to keep melting switches if you don't do this. The proper way to do this wiring is through something called a relay. Now this is a DPDT relay. You'll see the DPDT double pull, double throw, right? And two extra contacts, and that is for the switch. This is the relay part. You put a small amount of amperage and current or amperage and voltage through this part and it controls this DPDT, which you can put a lot of amps through. Now how it works is it's got an electromagnet. When the electromagnet is activated through this current here, it switches this part up and down. And that allows you to have a separate line that has a ton of amps through it. So how do you wire this? If you look closely, you'll see the white wire on the bottom goes up and then there's a metal contact. That metal contact goes up and down depending on the relay. So I'll show you real quick how you would wire this. And before we begin, a note about how you connect these things because normally you see people kind of soldering wires back and forth and stuff like that. Don't do that, that's, that's a headache. These are heat shrink quick connects that can handle I think 40 amps so you just make sure you get the ones that have the heat shrink you heat shrink them on quick connect them and then do the heat shrink this is 12 gauge wire and as you see I got two lipos in here so I got to be super careful at how I handle this these amps this is my switch wire that I've activated that I've connected and this is just simple 12 volts so <clears throat> this is a 24 volt, well now it's 30, uh, ESC connected to a regulator that steps it down to 12 volts. And then I have my switch connected after the voltage regulator so that this can be controlled by a 12 volt switch. But these wires have 32 volts and like 30 or 40 amps going through them. Well, let me hook this up. second longer and you'll see how this looks so you'll see here a voltage the wire coming from the ESC to the motor goes through like this, bottom here. That is this wire that then, through this electromagnet, chooses either this or this. This is the output to the 
the actual motor. We have the top, which is black and red, and the bottom, which is red and black. That's the switch. That's forward and reverse. This switch is these bottom two that controls whether the electromagnet magnet is activated. Now, I've connected these with wire nuts way better than messing around with solder or weird quick connects or something else that can fall out. Just twist them on and they're good. Let's turn it on. USB driver mode. 30 volts. So this is my switch here. Reverse mode. Then you'll see here, I'm gonna do the switch and you'll see the relay activate. Watch this. You see that? Now, when I press the pedal, it's gonna go the other way. That is how you correctly wire a switch to a high amp motor. Don't mess around with these other regular switches or direct wiring. It's just going to melt them. Thanks for watching. Bye.